Hi, everybody. This is Tim from Pitsco Education. Hi, and I'm Paul. It's that time of year. First Tech Challenge has released the challenge, Skystone. Skystone, yes. It's a, a great challenge. We're excited about it. Like we do every year, we want to take a minute, reflect on the specific challenges mm -hmm. of this year's game, just so that we can help you out whenever you become and develop your strategy for your game. So right. what's the first thing we'll talk about? Well, you know, the, the, the logical place to start anytime you are building a robot for any particular challenge is the drive system, the chassis. Right. How are you going to get there? Um, now, there are many different ways you could do that. Uh, you could uh, do that with uh, an omni-wheel type setup. You could do that with just static wheel setup, a uh, fixed wheel setup. But what, what we're going to show you today is a four-wheel chassis built with our uh, Tetrix Mechanum wheels. So this is just a basic chassis. There's nothing special about this. When you do your robot, you're going to actually make it special for your strategy. But the cool thing about Mechanum wheels, not only in the way they work, but is the fact that they're fairly simple to set up. I've got a motor configuration. There's nothing special about it. I mount my motors right. just the way I normally do. Uh, the main thing to remember is my, my roller alignment, right? Absolutely. So Mechanum wheels, uh, as you can see, they have the roller set in them at 45 degree angles. And uh, what you're looking for is to arrange the motors on your robot in an X pattern. Uh, if you look at the top of this robot, we have the rollers pointing this way, this way, this way, and this way, and that gives us our X pattern. What that does for us is allow, to allow us to move this robot basically in any direction. We can move it straight sideways, we can go forward, we can turn. Depending on uh, the speed of the motor and the direction of the motor, we basically have a full holonomic capability here. Gotcha. Time's the enemy, so mm -hmm. we want to be able to get to where we need to be as quickly as possible without a lot of extra movement. A holonomic mm -hmm. drive with the mechanic wheel setup really allows us to do that. When you do set your robot up, that you're making sure that all four, all uh, your, your chassis is nice and straight level. All four wheels are making contact with the mat so that you can be sure that the robot does move like you want it to. Good point. The next thing we need to do is capture that sky stone. So mm -hmm. you're going to design your own. So these are just going to be inspiration for you. But we want to show you some of the simpler ideas of mm -hmm. clamping down on uh, a sky stone because, again, sometimes simple is best. But uh, here's one that basically is going to come down on top of the sky stone. I've got a pivot in the middle, so I'm going to be able to bring that down, actually control my sky stone in that specific manner. Very What's another efficient. option? Very efficient. Double pivot with just one servo motor. Gotcha. What's another well, option? Well, another option is with another clamping approach, but instead of a pivoting uh, motion, we have a linear motion using our linear rack system. So robot would come up, grab onto the outside of the stone, clamp shut like this, pick it up, take it right where you want, stack it. Gotcha. So that's, uh, again, two different ideas of clamping. The third one we want to show, just an example, uh, kind of a combination between the two as far as one side is going to be stationary, and I'm going to pivot just the other side. So just like we did before, I can come down, locate on my sky stone, clamp it with one side, lift it up. So again, different ideas. These are not the only type of ways that you can capture the sky stone. We, we want to make sure that you're, that you're clear on that, but these are just some simple inspirational ideas that you might be able to use. Okay, we talked about stacking. An yes. important part of that is lifting, right? So That's let's right. go ahead and talk about a lifting mechanism. Now, what we've got here is just a very basic lifting mechanism. You guys are going to have to design your own, but maybe you might be able to use this for inspiration. Paul, tell us what we got. Well, we have a very basic lifting mechanism. As you said, we went ahead and mounted our double gripper on the front here. As you can see on the back side here, um, it's, it's a, it's a two-fold telescoping lifting mechanism where we use two rack systems. So once you are able to navigate to, pick up, grip the stone, you lift the first rack, lift the, sec lift the second rack, lower it back down, stack it, you're good to go. Gotcha. I think that's one of the things I really appreciate about this year's game. It's all about the fundamentals. You don't have to be uh, at a really certain level to be able to participate. Mm -hmm. Beginners are going to be able to be successful, but yet the advanced teams are going to be able to employ those really kind of unique ideas to be able to compete at a different level. I'm really excited to see what they come up with. I agree. It's an easy game to play. The, the uh, element is simple. It's lightweight. I'm excited as well. Gotcha. So like we always say, guys, have fun. Build some robots. Come back and see us. Good luck, teams. Good luck.